Now, here are Kelly Ripa and Michael Bublé. Friday, March 18th, 2011, filling in for Regis today, the one, the only, Michael Bublé! Thank you. You have to say it. You have to say it like that. Bublé! Bublé! I see a lot of Canadian flags in the house. Hey, Canadian. You must make the Canadians so proud. I'm proud of them. I'm proud to be one of them. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Canadians are good people. Very good people. We have lots of famous celebrity Canadians in the house today. Caroline Ray was here. Yeah, I just talked that to her. That was yeah. like a special treat. Yeah. <laughs> Caroline and I take Soul Cycle spinning classes together, and these are stationary bikes that are mounted to the floor, and she and I still race each other. <laughs> <laughs> We get very competitive, and once we were doing like the um, we were doing the arm weights, and I was doing she had she was doing two uh, one pound weights, and I was doing two pound weights, and she reached over and punched me in the arm. <laughs> I heard you're competitive. Yeah, yeah we're very I heard competitive not to, with not each to other. Mess with you. Yeah, <laughs> in general I am. I just realized that um, it's Michael Bublé Day, and I wanted to look really nice, but I forgot to put a moisturizer on my legs. Oh my God! <laughs> I didn't put any moisturizer on my legs either. And, and I just want to point out that. My legs and my head are two different colors. You're so cute. It's awesome. You know what happened to me today? Tell Yesterday. Me. Tell me what happened. To well, you. I went. I left my hotel to go for a little walk. Mm -hmm. And when I came out of the hotel, there were paparazzi there. Yes, yes. And I was so happy. You, because it's cool. You know, I don't get a lot of They're paparazzi. Waiting. I don't and believe I, that. I don't get a lot. So I came out, and uh, this is a true. I couldn't make this up. So I came out. And I said, hey, guys. And they took pictures. And I said, so uh, I was trying to be humble, right? I right. said, who are you guys waiting for? And uh, they said, you, Mr. Bublé, you, you, Michael, you know, smile. Right. Cha -cha -cha. And I said, no, really, who are you guys waiting for? I swear to God. Yeah. They went, Kelly Ripa. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. And, yeah. That's apparently, true. you live close to where I was staying. And they were sitting there waiting for you. That's and not I true. just happened to go by. I swear to God, I thought, damn, that Kelly Nobody, <laughs> I knew nobody it. ever waits for me. Nobody waits for I me. I read about you in all those magazines all the time. Uh, that's items I put in there. <laughs> I said, well, what was she wearing? <laughs> no, it's very true. I, I always, I've told this story a million times, and I'm sorry if you have to hear it again. Okay. I used to live in the same building as Nicole Kidman, and it was very exciting. <laughs> and when she moved in, the paparazzi encampment moved across the street. Literally, there would be an encampment, and they would be there waiting for her to come out. And they would notice when the elevator was coming down, they could see the elevator shaft moving in our building. They could see, like, the oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they would be like, oh, my gosh, she's coming out. So the cameras would be up like this, and I would walk out the door, and they would go. <sighs> I'm always afraid too that I'm going to do something stupid. Always. You are. Always, you know. But they like that. Can, if you do something stupid. Can, yeah. when, they always catch you doing something they like that. They always too. catch what, you. Do, you. do you deal with them a lot when you do? Yes. Are you cool with it? You're... Nobody ever notices me, but when they do, I just <laughs> smile and I'm like, oh really? <laughs> My, my fiance makes fun of me because she says I have a paparazzi face. Oh, well, let me think, let me think. Well, it's because we'll be at the Grove or something in L.A. And uh -huh. I'll say, I'll go, there's paparazzi over there. And she'll go, what? And I'll go, look. <laughs> and I'll do this. I'll do this, look. And you know the best part? She always says to me, she said, you make the stupid paparazzi face. And da -da. But the best is that half the time the paparazzi catches me, I look good. <laughs> I, I have this very, like, a oof yeah, face. Like, yeah, and like, she's like this. <laughs> eating something. That is I always so tell her. Get I, always, like, I always try to like, I always try to tell my kids like if we're in the middle of a fight, I'm like, okay, wait, we're not going to fight right now. We're not going to fight right now. We all love each other. Uh. And then they get their shot and they move along and I'm like, you are grounded. <laughs> it's a weird thing. It's definitely surreal. It is surreal. I should point out that you are uh, getting married April 2nd. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Now, I always joke because usually... Usually, when somebody says that, right. they, that, half the audience will boo, and the other half will look at their wives and girlfriends and say, oh, he is so gay, please. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Because you're getting married. Yeah, I'm getting married, yeah. And I wear the, the ring. Oh, Because already? in Argentina, they have a thing where you wear the, 
the ring when you get engaged. Oh. I'm so scared of the woman, I would have wore it wherever she wanted it. So. No kidding. No, yeah. is she planning the whole wedding? And where is the wedding happening? And do you think a paparazzi encampment will be flying overhead with the helicopter? You know what? As a matter of fact, thank you, Ms. Ripper. That's Mrs. Ripper. That's a great question because, uh, number one, we're getting, we have two. We have one in Argentina uh -huh. for the, her family and a few, a few of my family. Well, okay. big, big one. Yeah. And then I have a thing called an unwedding, I guess they call it, a month later in Vancouver. An unwedding? I don't know. It's like it's not a wedding, but it's a party. It's like a big party. Okay, a big party. But in Argentina, it's we're gonna have a we're gonna have some problems. I think we have a the whole tent and da da. But we could not clear the the space. The airspace for helicopters. So it's oh my gosh, be a I really can't wait to see those. I do. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. It'll be like we we'll all. You know what? When those pictures come out in the tabloids, it's like we were all invited. <laughs> and especially the in-house audience, it's like we were at the engagement party. Well, you guys are invited. Everybody, yeah. come on. Now, last time you were here, you were talking about the language barrier that you and your fiancé had. Mm -hmm. ha, ha, have either one of you learned the other's language? Yeah, she's, her English is now perfect. No kidding. And I'm an idiot, so my Spanish <laughs> is poor. She says, I try to speak all the time. And she'll say, you sound like a caveman. A caveman? Yeah. <laughs> I try. I can say things like, I, when people ask me too, they say, do you speak Spanish? I say, show poquito. I say, uh, you know, shabla uh, poquito porque yo sé mucho palabras, which means I speak a little, I know lots of words, you know. But that's about all I know. That's so sexy, though. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias, chica. No hay de qué. Can you speak? No, no, that was it. I just said, uh, I just said, you're welcome in two languages, like Brazilian and Spanish. There you uh, go. Obrigado. Uh, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Anytime a man speaks another language, oh, gosh. Mark spoke Italian to me, and that was it. What did he say? Do you know what he said? Who cares? <laughs> I think he said something like, shut uh, up, shut up, please shut up. Uh, <laughs> But it sounds so sexy. I'm hungry. <laughs> but I'm very excited for you. I Thank really you. am. I have to tell you that marriage is, it can be, and it, in our case, it's been such a blessing. That's just lovely, Kelly. Yeah, it really is. Like, Why do all my friends tell me, all my friends, say, I say to them, you know, is everything going to be good? Da, da, da. And they say the same thing. They go, you know what, we, me and my partner, we wouldn't change anything. But you know, you can wait. <laughs> if it's not right, you know, and they say the thing about but kids. Do you feel say. ready? Don't you feel ready? Or? Yes. Yes. No, of course I'm ready. I, yeah, I, I'm not nervous at all. I just want it to be good for her, you know. I want it to be like I know that you want it to be special. I know for her. the girls. Well, I mean, I don't want to say every girl, but a lot of girls. This is their dream, you know, to have mm -hmm. that that beautiful wedding day. And I'm being honest. For me, it wasn't my dream to have the beautiful. I didn't sit with my GI Joes and say, "And will you take me <laughs> to?" Be, you know, so. <laughs> So for me, it's one of those things where I said, just tell me what to do. Doesn't matter what it costs or blah blah blah. Just let's just let's make it right. Doesn't matter what it costs. Yeah. Oh my God. You know what? I said this about other uh, guests that have been here, but Michael Bublé is the perfect man. <laughs> that is a phrase. It doesn't matter what it costs. That women say, oh my gosh, my pants just fell off. <laughs> Because Mark and I eloped. On that, we, Mark and I eloped to Las Vegas. Wow. And, uh, and and gosh, 15 years ago. I mean, so obviously uh, it was the right decision. But when <laughs> they, you had like four wedding packages that you could choose from, the standard package, which was like $160 or $168, mm -hmm. um, and then like the $210 package, which came with like flowers, mm -hmm. um, and then like $300 package which came with sparkling cider, flowers, and a tiny cake. And uh, Mark was like, we'll get package A. And I'm like, but what about the flowers? He's like, we don't need flowers. So they're like, bride, you stand here, groom, you stand there. And so in our complimentary wedding photo, which came with all the packages, <laughs> um, in the compliment, I didn't want you to think he sprung for a wedding photo. <laughs> Um, my hands, because I don't have flowers, my hands are like... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't... I 
didn't know what to do with my hands. So I have them like oddly positioned on my body, like I'm in a Sears catalog. <laughs> will you do another one? Like, will you do a, have you done the? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We were on a, you know, we were on a soap opera together, and our yeah. characters married each other three times. Oh, so you've done it before. So we were like, oh, we've had that big yeah. wedding, and we really cannot sit through another one. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of big weddings, you know, the royal wedding is coming yes, up. Yes, that's and